So let me show you how to work with Finale and the Speedy Entry tool. The best and fastest way to enter music with the Speedy Entry tool is using a musical keyboard, especially when you want to enter more than one note at the same time. Here's how this works. You play the pitch on the musical keyboard and enter the note value on the computer keyboard by pressing a number. Don't release the keys on the musical keyboard until you entered the note value. Here are the keyboard shortcuts you should know when working with the Speedy Entry tool. The first thing I like to do is zoom in, shift, command, click and drag around the area I want to work with. Here we go. So I'm going to select the speedy entry tool and click in the bar where I want to start putting music in. Okay. First, I have to give Finale an idea of the pitch. So I'm going to use my musical keyboard. And then I have to give the note value. Five in this case. Finale put in a rest because it couldn't identify my keyboard as the input device. So I'm going to go to MIDI audio, device setup, MIDI internal speaker setup, and select my connection, in this case, USB. Now I already put the rest in, so I can play the node and press enter on the number block, and then it will convert it into that node. Now I need the dot, move to the right, the arrow key. So now I play the next node, that would be the G, and press 4 for 8th node, F, Four for eighth note, E, four for eighth note. Now I have to put in a rest. I press three for the sixteenth note. I play D, press three, and I play the C and press four. For some of you, a finale might jump to the next measure. The reason for that is in the speedy menu, you can uncheck or check jump to next measure. I like to keep this unchecked because like in this instance, I'm not done yet in this measure because I need to add a tie to the last note. I do this by pressing the equal sign on the number block. And now I move to the next bar with the right arrow key. So I need quarter note. Okay, now we have to put in triplets, eighth note triplets. First I have to tell Finale we want triplet, so I press Option 3 for triplet. And now I can just play, as usual, the pitch, and press 4 for 8th note, triplet in this case. And press 4 again, and play F sharp and press 4 again. Now Finale put in a G flat. What I need is an F sharp. I can change that by pressing 9. Now we need 6 tuplets, 16th notes. So press Option, 6. That tells Finale I want 6 tuplets. Now I can play the note and put in the 16th note value. Or I can lock in the 16th note value by using the caps lock. Press 3 and now play it in. The next one is also six tablets, but with rests. There are two ways how I can put those in. Well, I can't put rests in when caps lock is active. So I might just put in a low note, so I remember I have to change that. I can put any note here, and then play the notes as indicated above. And then I go back with my left arrow key to the note. I'm going to change into a rest and press clear on the number block. And go to the next note, press clear. Okay, that's one way. Or get rid of the caps lock, option six, to make sure I have six tuplets. And now, when I press three, Finale will put in a 16th six tuplet rest. And then I can play the note 
on the keyboard and press 3 again and so forth yeah okay move to the next bar put this in Eighth note, double dotted, oh, period, period. And then I try the B, press two for the 30 second note. And I get out of the speedy entry tool by pressing zero. And that's it.